Today, we're going to show you how to make your own scale bungee cords. But first, let's see what we need to gather. The first thing you're going to need is coated paper clips, and we highly recommend the Office Depot ones. They're easy to work with, but they're not too bendy, so they make for good hooks that hold their shape, and the coating itself isn't dry and brittle, so they won't crack when you bend them. The only other materials you need is, of course, the bungee material. We just go to Dollar Tree. It's a super cost-effective way to source your materials. They have several different kinds, including these ones with the rubber through them, but our favorite are these two-toned ones that they have. You can actually get two bungee cords out of every rubber band, uh, but this gives you a place to cut and the ends are a little bit coated still so they won't fray. So with any rubber band you use, you're going to end up with two pieces for your bungee cord. We just prefer the two-toned ones because you get two different colors and the elastic has a nice stretch. Tooling, you should have these things sitting around. Um, you'll just need a set of needle nose pliers, a set of side cutters, some regular scissors, and finally just a lighter to singe the edges to make sure they don't fray when you're finished. And that's it, you're ready to start making bungees. It's gonna feel weird at first. There's just a lot of kind of awkward hand placements, but you're gonna start with your paper clip and straighten it out so you end up with a big hook and a little hook. You trim off the end of the little hook, and then you don't need the big hook at all, so you just wanna cut that off at the base there and you can toss it, you won't need it. So you're left with a long hook. Take your pliers and make a small bend in it and that'll help you kind of get started with your wrap. And then you take your half piece of bungee cord or half a rubber band and you want to leave it with a little bit of space over the edge because you're going to wrap this paper clip around the little bit hanging off there. You'll want to wrap three times and that will leave you with a more normal looking hook, not a super long one. And then with these ends, be sure to crimp them down because that's what's going to hold the hook onto the end of the rubber band. Once you're done with that, you want to take your scissors and snip off any excess and then singe the end of the rubber band just a little bit. You don't want to burn the coating on the paper clip. So. Um, and then you'll take your pliers and bend it back and you're left with a pretty strong hook and you simply repeat for the other side. there you have it. Super strong, super easy, super cost effective way to make scale bungees. The more you do it, the better you're going to get. And then of course you use these bungees to earn scale points at competitions. And of course they hold in your scale items and look pretty realistic too.